It's my pleasure to introduce you to Seth Connolly, who comes from Brookline, New Hampshire. He was born in Hawaii and then moved over to Acton. In a shack. In a shack in Hawaii. <laughs> okay. He left out that detail, so. <laughs> uh, grew up in Acton, uh, where he enjoyed most uh, time spent outdoors uh, in nature, and Seth noted that he still does. And music started for Seth when he got a hold of his dad's ukulele at the age of four. And he noted that was it for me uh, with music. And he. Found my special purpose. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he found his special purpose. <laughs> and he went on uh, in his neighborhood, from what I understand, and uh, asked all his neighbors for their records and just dug into music from then on. He went on to study at Berkeley and University of Lowell for a while, and uh, he has self-taught, from what I understand how, himself, how to play a number of instruments, perhaps six or so, and is currently trying to learn violin. Um, he's performed Good with a number of, of <laughs> numerous bands, uh, nationally known, including Jonathan Edwards, America, and members of Little Feet, and folk performers like John Gorka, Katie Curtis, Curtis Ellis Paul. He is also a very busy recorder and arranger and accompanist, accompanist of music. He's, uh, his time is very well spent in music and much uh, admired. Uh, locally uh, in New England. When he has chance, he gets out there and performs his own, as we're fortunate to have him do this morning. He doesn't share his own songs as often as he should. And when he does, it is my understanding from other people that he really reaches out and connects. And he gave, to give me this quote of a favorite time sharing a song, and Seth said, I was playing in a bar and thinking no one was listening from my point of view. And someone came up to me and said, my music changed his day. He had lost his job and was losing hope. You never know when something is working through you. And so uh, I look forward to uh, that happening for us now. And like to invite you all to please give a warm round of applause for Seth Connolly. <laughs> has nothing to do with that. Well, I'd be a shoe shine boy if that's what you want from me. Then I will work my streets and maybe do some for free. And I will love my job Working at others feet Tell me what you need And that's what I'll do Well, I'll do anything for you I'll drive a taxi cab I'll get up there Safest places to go tell me what you need, and that's what I'll do. Well, I'll do anything for you. You bring out the love in me, there are the rising of the sun.
little personal message to God. This is the God morning on uh, TV. <laughs> Finally I get to compete with the preachers. Um, I think God gets a bad rap in the Bible. response to zippity doo -dah. Sublime. This is serious, I ain't playing games Ignore that gaping hole in my boat With duct tape and a bucket, I will keep it afloat Long enough to turn and tan my better side Fill my belly button with a thimble full of sky I'll tell that salesman on the telephone <laughs> I don't think Mr. Conley's at home. I give my laundry another day to breathe. It's got enough life to walk, but most likely won't leave.
the salad is cold Garlic, hummus, and folds of little bread on the side of my plate The day is whittling down All my friends gathered round I think I'll have another slice of my very own advice Tomorrow's looking the same now, ain't it a shame? Cause here's another beautiful day the guacamole, please. Well, thanks. I see now I have to figure out which strings are the tune so I don't tune the other six to the one. to uh, play some guitar behind the George Harrison, but I didn't want to throw you off your pace. I was a big George Harrison fan, I think probably because uh, as soon as I turned 18, I, uh, or yeah, 17, I um, went and found out about Transcendental Meditation as a result of him and the Beatles, I guess. Didn't get to meet the Maharishi, but you know, Jim and Dave were just as good, I think, at that point. <laughs> the guys that ran the ashram, sorry, that's, that sounds disrespectful, but it, it, I don't think I have an ounce of disrespect in my life. I had the opportunity to live on the lake for uh, several years, and uh, he had a beautiful glass sliding door that, you know, looked out like very short uh, backyard and uh, every single day looked like a Sierra Club photo, different times of the year. It was beautiful. And in a good day, if you sort of opened up the sliding doors, we had like a little porch that looked out over the backyard. You could probably take a running start from the back of the room and jump off and you'd probably hit the stone wall, but you'd be really close to the water. <laughs> wash off all the blood. This song was written from that window. Well, the lake has swollen, it lifts the dock above its stands. It's the onshore breeze, keeps it tethered to the land. It's that same gentle wind that's blowing buds into my hair. I lay among the dandelions, I find peace within their lair. The ants have moved to drier ground. They pulled up stakes with last week's rain. They found that crack that whistled winter's tune. Now my kitchen is their domain. The garlic bread we ate last night. Not one crumb was left a chance. Chocolate chip cookie crumbs for dessert. The sugar rush left them in a trance. Long enough for me to capture a handful and cast them on the lawn. I think that God deny them for well another day in the sun for another day in the sun let's roll in the hay we made but there's plenty of time for sleeping but while the moon waxes and wanes or maybe get yourself a hammock and forget about what I just said but don't forget to bring a good book so you can dream about what you read The neighbor's dog comes to visit me. She's scratching at my door. She's sporting a brand new haircut. Tick season's going full bore. I let her in the house. Well, we're rolling all around. The neighbor knows she spends most of her time with me. It's good she's not hanging around downtown. Well, two 
road is gonna be a steamer. The birds started singing late. Mr. Woodpecker found some hatching bugs and he calls out to his mate. They both start pecking at this stump of bubbling food. I think they're both happy they don't have to slam their heads like some jackhammering fools. While some bugs escape to water and they make for fishy fun and others make it to the other side and well hey another day in the sun well, another day in the sun let's roll in the hay we made but there's plenty of time for sleeping while the moon waxes and wanes or maybe get yourself a hammock and Forget about what I just said, but don't forget to bring a good book to dream about what you read. Hey, another day in the sun. fly just floating with the breeze he wiggled his antennas at me now isn't he a tease whether he rises or falls he is carefree as the wind if my arms would only lift me up well i'd be a lot like him Gary says, take the canoe, it is always by the barn. Don't forget the light preservers, so you don't come to harm. Take your time, please check out how the shoreline outs and ends. Oh, especially by the reeds, cause I believe that that's where life begins. And if you got time next week and you want to tag along well there's a north stream another pond and well hey another day in the sun another day in the sun let's roll in the hay we made there's plenty of time to sleep in while the moon waxes and wanes or maybe get yourself a hammock and forget about what i just said but don't forget to bring a good book to dream about what you read hey another day in the sun Find that place where the herons fly to. Hey, another day. Hey, another day. In the sun. Thanks. My internal biological clock tells me I have time for one more. <laughs> so, I had the opportunity a bunch of years ago to uh, go to England with my wife when she was doing her master's degree and uh, she was doing it at Oxford. So we decided to put everything into storage and uh, go live in Oxford for the summer. So while we, uh, when we got there, one of the first days we were there, it was this beautiful, beautiful day. And we were uh, walking along the Thames in uh, Mag uh, Magdalen College, and uh, I met this little woman who was about, well, this big maybe. It was this beginning of July, and she was wearing a quilted jacket, and quilted pants, and uh, boots with fur in them. And she was carrying two bags, uh, like grocery bags, full of uh, looked like paper or maybe her belongings. As it turns out, it was her poetry. Uh, she was quite a poet, and she was also an ex-economics professor at Oxford. She was no dummy, uh, but she looked like she was living pretty hard and close to the street. So her name was Zoe. This is for her.
of the moon. She sleeps with stars, they'll sing to her their tunes. She shares her meals with her newest friend, Robin, who flies to her place at Maggie's Botanical Garden. And so always finds the right things to say. She unlocks your troubles like leaves they blow away. And so could have been in the courts of kings or emperors. To show you pictures, the men they all had eyes for her. But the one she loves are the pheasants in the fields. And the chicks they care for, well, she knows where they're concealed. And so we'll tell you which cows have given birth. Their cow-eyed kitties will bring her mirth.
then there's me. I'm Dr. Kathy Phillips. And I'm Dr. Andrew Blum. Epilepsy is the third most common neurological disorder in the United States after Alzheimer's disease and stroke. It affects more than 3 million people, with 200,000 new cases diagnosed each year. The condition is caused by a temporary disturbance in brain function, resulting in various kinds of seizures. These seizures can produce involuntary movements, changes in awareness, altered behavior, or loss of consciousness. Epilepsy is a major chronic medical condition and can affect a person's quality of life similar to arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, or cancer. It can limit activity and cause pain, anxiety, or depression. It can also be life-threatening. Because epilepsy can also present non-medical challenges such as discrimination and social stigma, we urge you to learn more about this condition. To find out more about this disorder, including its symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment, visit epilepsyfoundation.org. Thank mm -hmm. you.